Hey there, my fellow barbecue enthusiast. Mike Baker here, Baker's Barbecue. Hey, today we got the Oklahoma Joe's Ugly Drum Barrel Smoker all fired up, coming up to temp. We're gonna get up to about 350, 400 degrees. We're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna actually do barbecue pizza on the Ugly Drum Smoker. We're gonna do a pepperoni pizza, a white pizza. We're gonna do a chicken, feta, and spinach pizza. And we're also gonna do a beef, green pepper, black olive, and onion pizza. It's gonna be fabulous. As we're getting this thing all up to temp, me and my wife are also enjoying a nice, cool, refreshing beverage. We're doing blueberry mules today. It's got fresh blueberries in there, a little bit of vodka in there. It's got some ginger beer, some lime and mint, and it tastes absolutely fabulous. One of the things I love most about barbecue and smoking, springtime coming on, is it's a great way to get out, just have a fabulous time with friends and family, just build that camaraderie and just enjoy yourself. So we're gonna get this all going. It's gonna be a great cook. Hope you get your cookers fired up and cook right along with me. Let's get to smoking. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the dough. We're gonna put on our first, first dough. Look at that, looking good. We're going to grab the other dough real quick. Hopefully, this will be able to maintain a decent temp without getting too, too hot. It's gonna be a challenge, that's part of this, is the challenge of trying to do this on a barrel smoker. Let me pull it forward. There we go. All right, so we have the first two on. We're gonna brush up just a little bit of olive oil. And it's gonna go probably about two minutes, three minutes is what we're kind of thinking. Go ahead and shut it. All right, so we're gonna wait just a second and we'll be back here shortly and we'll put the toppings on. All right, so we're back. It's been probably a couple minutes or so. We're getting ready to flip over the crust. Look at that, looks good. Got a good helper today. My wife's out here teaching me how to do this. We're gonna flip this over. Now we're gonna put some toppings on. Put a little bit of sauce. Well, this is going to, the first one's actually going to be pepperoni. And uh, some of the other stuff is going on with pepperoni. So, looking real good. Look at that. It's going to be tasty. So, Mike and I like to go easy on the sauce. So, I'm doing a, just a very light tomato sauce. I'm going to give it just a little sprinkle of a little garlic. Not a lot because I'm not a huge fan. That's what I'm talking about. I had trouble finding fresh basil this time of year, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little, uh, I got a little extra there in that spot, but it'll be fine. That'll work out perfect. Um, fresh salt and pepper. And you probably don't even need to do these steps that I'm doing, except that I like it. So that's why I'm doing it. So then, Mike, if you wanna help me, with your clean, clean washed hands. Put a bunch of pepperonis on We here. did wash our hands just prior to doing that. Just load it with a few pepperonis pretty fast. All right, this is my favorite fast. part. Get to load you it gotta up. You gotta kind of work fast here. Um, That's one thing I will say about this little project is it, uh, it's almost like being out the track trying to get a workout in. You gotta work at a certain pace to get it done. I do have some fresh mozzarella. Right, look at that. Here, um, well I do. I start saying, here, Mike, do this one, but <laughs> my hands are free. I think so when you cook a lot, or if you're a parent, you really um, learn how to work fast. And I did the uh, cheese is out of a bag, y'all. I did the um, creamy melt mozzarella. Yeah, and I'm just good. using my hands because it's just us going to eat it tonight. So that cheese going to kiss that fire a little bit. What do you think, Mike? Is, I think it looks good. Is that like enough yep. cheese for you? I think it'll be working good. Okay. But you know what? Once you hit this one, just a little bit more. Just tab it more and we'll... There we go. All right. Actually, I think it needs a little bit more. Yeah, it could, it could <laughs> Now be. that you said that. Okay. Ready to shut Plus it back down? All right, we're going to shut this back down. We're going to let it go probably for maybe a minute or two, something like that. Uh, maybe three minutes. And uh, we'll be back here in just a second. So we got all the sides right here. Looking wonderful. My wife did a fabulous job on this. It's beautiful. 
Look at this right here. Got all the cheeses over here. Got a little bit of olive oil, the toppings. All set up. So we got us a good little workspace right here. So I'm telling you guys, you can't beat this grilling and chilling. I'll show you guys, we're setting at almost 400 degrees on the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco. Just to kind of give you an idea of what kind of temp we're looking at. And we've been moving it up and down just a little bit. So we're cooking about 400 degrees just to kind of give you an idea. Right, guys, we actually cooked 13 minutes. So we're gonna take it off. This pepperoni is ready to go. So we're gonna pick it up here and take a good look at it. Look at that. That's looking tasty right there. Let me hold that. Would you let me hold that when you take it off? Okay, now remember, we are not pizza experts. We are backyard enthusiasts. <laughs> having, are you gonna hold I'll that? I'll hold it, you take it off. There you know, go. I'm thinking that I'm gonna need this. Let's see if I can get it in one swipe. There you go, check it out, look at that. And this is our pepperoni. All right, that's looking fabulous. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this inside and we're fixing to repeat the process with the beef, onion, and green pepper. So we'll be back here in just a second. All right, so we're gonna put on the second one here, the second set. This one's actually a little bit bigger. All right, perfect. And this one here is gonna be, shut that back down. Remember, we're gonna let that crust cook for two or three minutes, four minutes, something like that. We'll see, have to kind of check it. And this is gonna be the beef, the red onion and green pepper and a little bit of olive as well. So we're gonna let this cook for about three or four minutes and we'll be back here in just a second. All right, guys, we're back. It's been cooking about two minutes. We're cooking a little bit higher on this one, about 400 degrees. So Lisa's gonna take it. She's gonna flip this, crush. It looks fabulous. Look at that, man. That looks great. Can't wait to eat some of that. And put a little bit of sauce on here and I'll be quiet there if you got something you wanna. So once again, I'll say that Mike and I do not like a whole bunch of sauce. We like to go easy on it. So um, this is just tomato sauce. I'm gonna season it with a little salt and pepper, basil, garlic. Is that about kind of like what you like, Mike? Yep, sounds good to me. So, little garlic powder. Ooh, I want that lid to come off. And I like it easy on the garlic because I'm not a, huge fan Mike is but he compromises because he's nice just a little bit of basil and this is dry because we are in southeast Missouri and couldn't find any fresh salt and I like this peppercorn pepper this is just what Mike and I like you guys can do it any way you want and um, so I'm going to use my fingers with the ground beef. I did uh, season it just a little. What kind of season did you use on that little baker's barbecue? Um, I did just a little bit while it was frying. I've never done that before, but um, so, you know, you got to season meat. So I figured why not use baker's, right? Right. So we got a little baker's barbecue rub on this, seasoned up the, the beef and also the chicken we're going to be doing after a while. Uh, figure we might as well use that. It tastes fabulous and all kinds of stuff. I love the combination of uh, ground beef and green peppers. Just my preference. I like a little onion. Mike does too, but not a whole bunch. And a little black mm -hmm. olive. Lisa's done a fabulous job getting all this stuff diced up, all these toppings. Looks fabulous. This is going to be wonderful. Well, I appreciate the um, credit Mike's given me, but you know, some of this is right out of a can, <laughs> like black good. olives. <laughs> it's good to me. Um, okay, so I've got all that on there. Jeez. And then now, um, you know what I'm going to do, just because I think it looks just a little bit dry? I'm just going to kind of touch the edge with just a tiny bit of olive oil. I made this pizza crust earlier by, it's homemade. And instead of using water, um, I used beer in my yeast. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. See if it's any good. Be I have good. a feeling it's gonna be really yeah, good. Be really good right there. I little, love little, little bit of fire starting to kick up down there and starting to kiss the bottom of this a little bit. It's gonna be fabulous. And so traditionally I wouldn't um, 
put big chunks of mozzarella on this on pizza with these toppings just because of my preference, but not because there's any rules. But um, I just happen to have it, and I know that Mike is a big fan of fresh mozzarella well, cheese, so I'm gonna put a few mozzarella. chunks of that on there. And you see me just breaking it up with my fingers. Um, Mike and I are the only two people eating this. Unfortunately, my daughter's away at school, and she's not gonna get to enjoy it with us. We don't have any company tonight. So I'm not worried about it. I'm just breaking it up with my fingers. But I will say she was okay. saying, I wish I was there with you guys. So we're going to shut this back down and it's going to go probably about how long, Lisa, you think? I'm thinking about um, 10 minutes okay. approximately, but I will probably check it um, starting about six minutes. And just um, because the temperature of the grill is so high, so I'll check it at six, and then I'll probably check it about every two minutes until I decide that the crust is done to our liking. Sounds good. All right, guys, we'll be back here shortly. We're gonna check this pizza out here in just a little bit. It's gonna be fabulous. Look at that nice blue smoke coming out of that Oklahoma Joe's Bronco, if I can see it there. Let me get back around, there you go. Beautiful, clean smoke right there. This pizza is gonna be fabulous. Can't wait to eat it. All right, guys, it's been about 10 minutes on the beef and onion look at that wow. looking delicious you check can see that out it's starting to bubble yeah got so a little bubble going there my count what was the temperature on this do you remember it was, this one here was cooked at about 410 degrees about 410 for 10 minutes and so we have learned that when you shut the lid it creates enough heat to get the toppings really good and melty so um if you were to leave it open that you might not accomplish that so you shut the lid, makes the heat uh, go all over the pizza so you can get your toppings melted. And that's really what we want. Um, I don't know about y'all, but we like gooey pizza here like in the backyard. Pizza. That's fabulous. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pause here and we're gonna do the next one. It's gonna be chicken and Alfredo and spinach uh, and a little bit of tomato and onion, some other things thrown in there. So it's gonna be fabulous. So we'll be back here in just a second. All right, guys, so we're fixing to put on the chicken. It's gonna be chicken, feta cheese. Got some spinach on there. Lisa made some homemade Alfredo sauce. It's gonna go in there and it's gonna be absolutely fabulous. We got a little bit of onion gonna go in there too. Uh, shredded, the actual shredded chicken uh, was baked up and shredded. It's got some Baker's barbecue rub on it. It's gonna be really good. So uh, we're gonna shut this down. Two minutes. We're sitting down for two minutes. And while we're doing that, we're gonna have us a couple drinks of this blueberry mule right here. This stuff is fabulous. All right, guys, so it's been two minutes on this crust. We're fixed to open it up, and Lisa's gonna put the toppings on. So let's check this thing out. Oh, oh look, man. I love the bubbles. That bubble is good on there, look at that. Wow. Flip it this over. This is gonna have a nice brick oven flavor to it. I, we got, I got leftover wood. We're actually using some charcoal that was from the last smoke I did. So, it's got leftover charred wood in there, and that's where we're going to be getting our wood flavor from. So I'm just brushing it with a little olive oil just so um, the crust kind of stays moist, and maybe when it gets hot, it'll have a little sear to it. Um, the first thing I'm going to throw on here is um, chicken. This was cooked in the oven with... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I did it backwards. <laughs> I forgot I had sauce, you guys. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put a little white sauce on it, and um, I'm just gonna uh, slather it on here haphazardly. Um, this white sauce I just made in the kitchen, um, olive oil, butter, flour, garlic, I'm trying to think what else I did to it, onion, a little milk, kind of like a roux. And it tastes fabulous, but I took a bite of salt it. Salt and pepper, phenomenal. Course. Phenomenal. Yeah, I, I, just, I just literally threw it together um, uh, simulated uh, homemade alfredo, if you will, but I think it's actually better. So now I'm going to do the chicken, and I cook this chicken. It's uh, chicken tenderloins. Did it in the oven 350, about 20 to 30 minutes, with some uh, Baker's barbecue seasoning, and um, I intended for it to be more chopped. And then when I ran it through my chopper, it kind of got there's a big piece, and that's okay. It got a little more fine, um, and that's okay, but. Um, Mike would probably prefer it a little chunkier, oh, it looks but um, it'll it'll still be good. And I'm putting on quite a bit because we like quite a bit. And then I'm going to add 
just a little bit of onion. I like onion just for flavor more than, um, I don't like to get a great big bite, so I kind of picky about how I scatter it around. And then um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a little bit of spinach. This is just fresh spinach out of a bag. Got it at local grocery store. They do have that year round, fortunately. Mike, do you like a lot of spinach or just a hey, little? I like it yeah, every, just time you make, every time you make this stuff, it's delicious. So you're the pizza queen. I, I'm not, I'm a backyard enthusiast. There you go, backyard so, barbecue enthusiast. That's what I'm talking um, about. On this, I'm gonna do feta cheese. And I got this fresh in a block and it's real, feta cheese is real crumbly anyway. So I just took my fingers and just crumbled it all up. And so I can tell my fingers are gonna get real messy now anyway. So feta cheese um, has a really unique flavor. It's kind of pungent. So if you um, like that type of cheese, what do they call it, like smelly cheese, you know? Um, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna add just a little bit of mozzarella, not quite as much as I had on the other pizzas, but just a little bit for a little texture. Just for a little extra flavor, I'm gonna hit it with some Parmesan. And this one um, is a bag Parmesan. You could use fresh. Fresh would probably be even better. And then my creamy melt mozzarella. Just a little bit, because we've already got so much going on here. Um, this may even take it a minute to, to get hot, but that's okay, because we got time. And um, I am gonna hit it with a little salt and pepper. And this is the uh, fresh cracked peppercorn pepper. That's just what we like. You can do whatever you want. A little fresh salt there. And we're done. We're just close the lid and wait on the time. All right, guys, so we're going to get this going. It'll probably go about 10 minutes or so is what we're kind of figuring. This has been averaging out. So as you can see, Lisa has made a fabulous looking pizza, so I can't wait to try that as well. So we're going to we're going to pause here, and we'll be back here shortly. All right, guys, we're going to take off this uh, white. We're going to take off the chicken pizza. Mm -hmm. but this actually has been on 14 minutes because the heat has come down just a little bit in the smoker. I, I didn't have a full charcoal pan in there, but look at that, it looks delicious. This one got a lot of good crispy edges. Look at that. Wow. We can set that lid down there. Take a good look at that right there. All right, we're gonna take this one inside. We're gonna let it set. We got one more to go, the white pizza. So hang on with us. All right, guys, so we're gonna put on our last pizza. <laughs> this is going to be this the one, white pizza. Yeah, and so, I don't know if you've ever had white pizza before. I've had it several times, different places, mostly at wineries or um, specialty shops. White pizza does not have red sauce on it, obviously, hence the term white. So, I just put a little olive oil on it. I'm gonna put, just to add a little flavor, a little garlic. I think I'll hit it with a few few basil leaves. These are dried, so I'm going sparingly. Can get fresh in a small town. This is a little oregano. I'm gonna hit it with some fresh ground pepper, peppercorn, and a little bit of salt. I have salt in your life. So, thing about white pizza, is it's all white. So this is just ricotta cheese. I'm gonna do a thin layer of it on here. And you see it's picking up a little bit of the seasonings, which is good. And um, just so you know, I didn't make this crust. I thought it might be interesting to see if we like a pre-made crust. So I just thought uh, we'd try it. I think it's like Pillsbury out of a can. But anyway, uh, Parmesan, just a little bit for flavor. I'm not gonna go too heavy. And I'm gonna add some fresh mozzarella on it because there is really nothing better than that on a pizza especially. So I'm just tearing it up, putting it on there pretty fast. 
This stuff is amazing. And um, back to my creamy melt, little mozzarella. But you know what I think I'll do? Um, because all food needs just a little bit of salt or acid, I'm gonna put just a few little tomato slices on it just to kind of break up the cheesiness. And you get a little bite. I would have loved to have put some fresh basil on here too. I just didn't have it. But if you have it and had, I mean, that would be amazing on this pizza. I think it needs one right there. Okay, and now I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit more mozzarella. So no red sauce here, just white. And remember, this is the one that is the store-bought crust. It was um, a little more difficult to roll out. Had a little more spring to it. I had some difficulty like getting it um, in a certain formation, but whenever you do pizza crust, when you roll it out for the grill, just roll it haphazardly. It's great when it's not all in a uniform shape. And I had, I tried to shape it according to Mike's grill. So I know that this is um, 18 inches, the grill plate is. So I tried to be careful to not make it um, any bigger. I mean, I guess you could get crazy with it, um, but I wanted it to fit squarely on if, if at all possible so it could get even heat so we're done with that all right so we're done with this i'm going to shut the lid back down this is probably going to cook about the same amount of time about 10 minutes about 10 minutes or so and we'll be back here shortly all right everybody we're going to take off the last pizza here you know one thing we did realize is that we did not do this like we did the rest of them by mistake we normally put the crust on and then we let it go for about two or three minutes and then flip it and then put toppings on we forgot to do that so we actually had to let this one go about 14 or 15 minutes because of that but look at that. It looks absolutely fabulous. It's still got very bubbly and um, has nice crispy edges. Got hot all the way through. But um, let's see if I can pick this up. We'll let you know if um, when I neglected to flip it. Mike will tell you later how it tastes. <laughs> you got to look at that, though. That looks absolutely delicious. Nice, cheesy pizza. Good crispy crust. All right, there I'm a fellow barbecue enthusiast. We had a fabulous time today cooking these pizzas and they turned out absolutely phenomenal. We got pepperoni pizza, we got a white pizza, we have a beef mushroom, red onion, bell pepper. I mean, we have made all kinds of pizzas here today. I will say it's a little bit of a challenge when you do multiple pizzas like this, but if you'll set your oven real low, when they come off the smoker, bring them in, stick them in the oven, real low temperature, keep them nice and warm. For all the barrel smoker owners out there today, we did this on Oklahoma Joe's Bronco. The fire sets about 30 inches below the grill grate. I took out the deflector, so it was all direct heat. I actually took the charcoal pan, I emptied out the old charcoal. I put in a one layer of new charcoal and I dumped the old charcoal back on top. And it worked out phenomenal. I kicked the temperature on this thing up to about 400 degrees and these, it, it held temperature perfect through all these cooks. So we're gonna tear into these here in just a little while. We're gonna have a great dinner of barbecued smoked up pizza. I hope you guys have got your smokers out today and cooked right along with me. And I will say, doing the barbecue pizza like this is a great activity to do with your family. It was been a lot of fun today. Me and my wife had a lot of laughs as we worked through this, and it's been a great time. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you ring the notifications or bring the little bell top for notifications for new videos coming out. And until the next time I see you, happy smoking.